The federal government is investigating allegations that applicants for health insurance under the new federal reforms are being advised to lie on their applications. Nothing's been proven yet, but tonight Fox 11's Alex Ronaldo tells us what's at stake if someone should lie on an application or if someone advises someone else to do so. Let's say you're a smoker and you need insurance under the Affordable Care Act. It might seem like a good idea to lie about that to pay less. Certified application counselor Maria Vargas says it's not. Your insurance can come back after you and deny your claim or cancel your application. When you fill out your application, at the end you have to sign it saying that all of your answers are true under penalty of perjury. If you're found guilty of perjury, you could face fines and even prison time. If we do know that they're lying, uh, we can opt to uh, terminate the application. Vargas says application counselors who allow lies to go through or advise clients to lie face similar punishments. Definitely will lose that certification with the state and federal. The federal centers for Medicare and Medicaid services have already investigated alleged fraudulent behavior among some certified assisters. The CMS says there is a zero tolerance policy. By law, certified application counselors cannot even help clients choose a health plan. Only a licensed broker or agent can do that. I'm governed by and accountable for everything I advise a client on. Broker Chris Hansen says she has to answer to insurance companies too. Kind of stand in the middle of that. We're representing the client or the consumer, but we're also representing the carrier. And any misrepresentation could mean repercussions. I could lose my license, mm -hmm. and that's my livelihood. Making honesty the best policy. In Appleton, Alex Ranallo, Fox 11 News. Wisconsin's Insurance Commissioner's Office has not yet responded to our questions about whether any such complaints have occurred here in Wisconsin.